Tsad Choice as advertising in red invented by T. Tsad Choice as advertising in red invented by Ted's The decision to book Robbie Williams to perform has been slammed with a song called Party Like a Russian among the former Take That Stars Back catalog advertisement. The track, which appears to criticize the Excesses of Russian oligarchs was the lead single on his 2016 album, The Heavy Entertainment Show. It features lyrics such as, It takes a certain kind of man with a certain reputation to alleviate the cash from a whole entire nation. World Cup 2018 Opening Ceremony Who is performing? Take my loose change and build my own space station. Ain't no refutin' a disputin' I'm a modern Rasputin. Subcontract disputes too. Some brutes in Lubiton act highfalutin while my boys put the boots in, it's prompted a FIFA chief to issue an official statement with calls mounting for Williams not to perform. A spokeswoman for football's world governing body said, We are extremely happy to have been able to gather such a high-level lineup of artists for the opening ceremony, which for the first time and for the benefit of the fans in the stadium and watching on TV will take place just half an hour before kick-off and will focus on musical performances. Robbie Williams and Aida Gary Flinner are extremely popular artists, and they will undoubtedly entertain and warm up the crowd before the host stake to the pitch to play Saudi Arabia on June 14th. Please understand that the track list for the opening ceremony of the 2018 FIFA World Cup has been agreed between the artists, FIFA, and the local organizing committee, who would like to keep this as a surprise for the public until the show, but a long-time Kremlin critic has lambasted Williams for deciding to sing in Moscow. British businessman Bill Browder, who accuses President Vladimir Putin of conducting a personal vendetta against him, took to Twitter to question why Williams was performing while Russia was under Western sanctions. There's lots of ways to make money at Robbie Williams, but selling your soul to a dictator shouldn't be one of them. Shame on you, Browder wrote. The opening ceremony takes place at Moscow's Luzhniki Stadium, half an hour before kick-off in the first match between Russia and Saudi Arabia. Williams said opening the event to 80,000 fans and many millions all over the world was a boyhood dream. He added, we'd like to invite football and music fans to party with us in Russia, in the stadium, or to tune in there. TV's a little earlier for an unforgettable show, while a campaign group offered to brief the British pop star on Russia's human rights record. Human Rights Watch said it had called on world leaders to stay away from the event, pointing to Russia's rights record and its role in the Syrian war. We certainly see the way the Russian government and President Putin is using the World Cup and in particular the opening ceremony as a way of legitimizing his power and his authority. The group's director for Europe and Central Asia, Hugh Williamson, said, would be happy to brief Williams on the human rights situation in Russia, so that he's well informed when he gets there. He could also make a positive contribution if he speaks out during his visit.